I'd have to leave something else behind. This will last.
Uh, no, no, I'm awake and alert. Uh, damn it. The sun shines on those who mind their own, so they say. So many come to the Sundom and can't be bothered to work with you. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all cards. Just what happened to Earth, sir, has nothing to do with us. This isn't up to their usual standard. Yes, yes. Do we have to wait here? I need it. That other Outlander I talked to the night before the Proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. If this keeps up, I'll be broke in a month. The city of loyalty, the city of light. It's always the merchants. City's locked down on account of the like getting through, Outlander. Meridian's I'm tired. Halt! It's worse enough to last a life. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. 
As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving. The man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah. Why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. As some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Traders across the lake feel like I do. This ceasefire won't last long. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a moron? I must be the city. How much will a bud hide? Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court.
looks like a picture of Owen's family. Where this rug is frayed. Let's go underneath. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside, with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Day, girl. You're waiting. Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Serve and they live. Disobey, and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. The map. The glyphs show places he visited.
There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the Old Ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used? Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! Yes, yes, trade quick. I will leave you to the hunt. Ah, you're everything I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell.
You there! Can you help me? Nora, please, I- You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I'll bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. What's wrong with the hunting lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck-up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the carja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe. But it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuke farewell mark in my honor. A Banuke farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour.
At the center of every storm you'll find an Oceron. Troublemakers the lot. Wasn't sure about Meridian at first, but the view from the Mesa is growing on me. I'll be on my way. I should get going. So should I. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh... I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban-Ur, in the ice trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pop! Are you some kind of merchant? Mm, more of an explorer. But... <clears throat> Risky opportunities. But why should... All right. If I did look into your... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of... And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. 
not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road he waits there now. This shrine was, and the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. A call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would- If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests. But you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away. And how he tried. In the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in sin. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke... You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories? is to honor us all. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Only members and invited guests are allowed in. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three, and I'll let you in. Now off you go. Trickery, deceit, the shadow cards and know them well.
feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. And I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, well, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunter, but bandits, they're... Um, We're standing. We're done here. Here? You wouldn't let that... Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our word. Smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. the snow coming.
That signal will bring in reinforcements if they set it off. What have they taken prisoners for? <sighs> Nothing good. That takes care of the alarm. Got someone over here, doesn't look good. I think this one's dead. down. Off you go. You got anything better to do? Oh, 
try. Whatever happens, I know I'll rest beside my mother among Surely the Surely you have other things to do besides talk to me. 